Well, another twist in the saga of the Gaddafi family this morning. Colonel Gaddafi's adopted daughter, Hannah, who apparently died in a U.S. airstrike in 1986 on his compound, may not have died after all. There's new evidence that she was living in the capital and was seen as recently as last Friday working at Tripoli Hospital. Well, on the line now is Dr. Gassem Baruni from Tripoli Hospital. Um, a very good morning to you. Is it your understanding that you worked alongside Hannah? Yes, good morning, first of all. And yes, she, she works in the hospital as a doctor up till last Friday, and yes. What does she do there? Is she a surgeon? She, she's a surgeon, yes. How she do you works. know this is... Yes. Apologies, continue. Yes, uh, well, she, she works in the surgical department for one more than a year now. How do you know that this is... Gaddafi's adopted daughter, who was supposed to have died in 1986. Oh, no, she's she admitting that. She's saying I'm Hana, and of course there is the security around here, and we knew that she's Hana, and we've seen her photos with her father. So everybody knows here. Some people suggest that after Hannah apparently died, Colonel Gaddafi actually adopted another daughter and named her in memory of the first child. Are you saying that that didn't happen and that this is the original Hannah? Yes, this is original Hannah, yes. Quite, I, quite, I'm quite sure about that. So what did you make of the fact that Colonel Gaddafi had said that she was dead? Well, uh, he, he did so, but everybody knew that she's not died. So why did he tell American journalists that she had died in that U.S. airstrike in 1986? Well, just to compound? attract the attention of the uh, public opinion. So he was trying to make the airstrike seemed worse than it was, was he, that his that, daughter that, had been that, killed? That's right, yeah, that's right, yes. Tell us a bit about Hannah then. What is she like and uh, what sort of family does she have? Well, she is, uh, she is as a doctor, she is very nice. She is keen to, to, to learn. She works hard with the other colleagues. But still, of course, she is uh, the mentality of the same uh, Gaddafi family. She hates the other side. She doesn't like, uh, of course, her, uh, the, the liberation uh, people, and she's admitting that. And we discussed with her one time that she, you, were told that you are a doctor and you should treat everybody equally. There is no difference between any other human. And we are doctors, we have to treat everybody equally with no segregation. But she doesn't like to admit, she doesn't like to accept this. She thinks that other people against Libya and they are our enemies and we shouldn't treat them as we should treat our uh, soldiers. So where is she now? Well, I'm sure with her family. She disappeared. They run away. She's okay. disappeared? Yes. Do you think she might be in Algeria as well? No, I didn't think so, because she's very, very close to her father. I'm sure with her father. Wherever he goes, she goes with him. For many people listening to this, yes. apologies, continue, Dr. Varuna. We keep, yeah, we keep I mean, talking it's, over it's each other, well apologies. Known, well, well known here in, in, our, in, in our society, Hannah is very, very good, uh, I mean, uh, she loved by her father, and the only person I think from her family can go to see him without any appointment, without any uh, formalities. So what would so she I'm make sure, of I'm the fighting that we've seen? I beg your pardon? What would she make of the fighting that we've seen? How would she feel that Tripoli has fallen to the rebels? Well, we haven't seen her after that, but before she thinks it will not fall down. She always saying that we will win, we will win. But once the uh, Tripoli liberated, she disappeared, and of course, but I'm sure she is very sad about this. For many people listening to this, it will be another reminder that Gaddafi's regime was built on secrets and lies. Of course, yes. It's true.